My name is Mason or at Hair by Mason on all my social media handles. I am excited because in today's video, I will be partnering with Outre to bring you this cute chunky twist look with their brand new collection, Twisted Up. I will be using the springy Afro twist hair and I'm super excited to try this hair out because it comes pre-separated, it's pre-fluffed. All I gotta do is just twist it in my hair. I don't have to do the extra steps. So I'm super duper excited to see how this look turns out and if you guys are excited to see it as well just keep watching all right so i want to make a note that this hair comes in three limbs 12 16 and 24 inches i selected the 16 inches and this is what it looks like so it has three bundles with 10 strands per bundle again it is pre-separated it's already pre-fluffed so all the extra prep work you don't have to do and they really separate super duper easy like you can see right here so now I'm just going to show you guys how I am sectioning my hair. I'm just going to start parting in the back. And since these are jumbo twists, my sectioning is going to be a bit bigger. I don't like a lot of like tension um, in my hair. I don't like heavy hairstyles. And so this literally was perfect. So just checking my parts. And so now since this is um, 16 inches stretch, when you flip it over, it's going to be about 8 inches. So what I did, I just slightly staggered the hair so that it'll be a little bit longer than the length of my hair once I start twisting. So now here, um, I'm just going to part my hair off um, and then I'm just going to use some product. And my product of choice was the Shining Jam. You can use whatever you want. Um, it just, for me, it's good to help me establish a good base. So once I split the hair, I'm just going to begin twisting. Um, I am speeding through this portion of it in the back because I felt like I had better clips in the front, but I just kind of wanted you guys to see what the parting looked like in the back. But in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys um, how to twist it nice and slow down so you can get a better understanding of how to twist the hair in if you choose not to use the rubber band method. So after I did a few rows in the back, I worked my way towards the front. And again, I'm just sectioning off a block of hair because these are chunky twists. Um, and so once I get that block uh, sectioned off, I'm just gonna add some more jam. This is the shining jam. Again, you can use whatever you want. And since I'm not using the rubber band method, I just wanna make sure that I am establishing a good base. Um, this is gonna be really important to make sure that your twists do not slip. So whatever product you use, just make sure that it gives you a little grip. Um, the, the hair itself actually has a lot of texture, so that kind of helps with the gripping. Um, but once you do that, I'm just gonna separate the hair in two, and I twist right to left. Um, so I'm gonna establish my base first with the piece on top and I'm just gonna twist counterclockwise. So that's literally gonna be twisting to the right. And then once I get it tight enough at the root, not too tight because you don't wanna rip your follicles out. But once you get it tight enough at the root, I'm just gonna flip it over to the left and then I'm just gonna take the remaining hair underneath and just twist it all in. And so I'm twisting right to left, which is counterclockwise. Um, and if you are right-handed, I'm left-handed. So if you're right-handed, you would do the opposite way. Um, and so, yeah, this is what it's looking like. And then I just repeated this process all throughout my hair. Um, and so I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of more angles. And as you can see, um, the twist moves really easily. You wanna make sure that your twist can still flip and move and not like pull your scalp. Um, and so that's what we want it to look like. And so I'm just gonna repeat this process um, again through the rest of my hair, just section off those blocks. I call them blocks because they are pretty big sections. Um, and then again, just gonna separate. So here I'm gonna slow it down again, take the top piece and I'm just gonna twist it to the right um, until it is all the way down at the root. And then I'm just gonna fold that over top to the left. And then I'm gonna take the remaining hair and I'm just gonna twist all that up and just begin to twist. Okay. 
and again you see it flips and moves easily and this is literally the final row that I'm doing so I just sped it up um, so you guys can just see one more angle um, and how my hands are positioned um, it kind of changes with wherever I'm twisting so if I'm in the back then my arms won't be looking like chicken wings but <laughs> um, yeah these are the final twists that I'm doing and I have definitely been super um, satisfied and pleased with this hair um, I just love the texture the grip uh, and this is what it's looking like before we add the final touches so stay tuned all right guys so this is the final look I am high key loving it this hair really reduced the service time so like literally this took maybe about 40 minutes with filming um and what i ended up doing was taking these uh dipping the ends in uh rods so i had to actually go to the salon and get my rods and so i just put them on the rods and i dipped them in hot water and it actually kind of loosened the twist up so like they have a lot more movement now which i love and it kind of like shrunk the twist up a little bit more so that's also something I like because I like the short chunky look and yeah like I mean I really can't get over these twists like they're so cute they're so chunky the hair feels amazing as this hair is described I mean it is 100% Kanikalon um, it is super easy to separate even though it's already kind of pre-separated pre-fluffed and all that stuff it really is easy to separate um, if you want to go smaller, if you want to do your twist smaller, I just feel like the options to style your hair with this uh, brand of hair is literally limitless. Like I was doing these twists and I was literally just thinking like, oh my gosh, like I want to try a crochet next. Oh, you know what? Maybe I want to try some locks. Like there's just so many options that you can do using this hair. And so it has like a natural shine, like a natural finish. It literally blends in with my hair so perfectly my hair is naturally jet black and so this is like it's literally perfect like I am obsessed with these twists I will be wearing them for a while so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you guys decide to try these twists please just um, tag me tag outre on Instagram I definitely would love to see how your twist came out and if you do other styles with this as well, because I'm going to be doing some more styles with this hair. <laughs> um, yeah, just let me know. But that is all I have for you guys. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.